Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here and I'm in the back of the parish house here and I have uh, some of Snickers' wonderful little toys here and just kind of hanging out near the little fake wood stove we've got here at the house. Uh, as it's kind of cool and wet and dark, but while that's going on, I want to encourage all of us as we look towards Thanksgiving coming up to be people of Thanksgiving. There's plenty of things that darken our hearts. There's plenty of news to get depressed about. But all that news is not as powerful as the good news. I know we can look at things going on between Russia and Ukraine or in Israel and Gaza. We can think about storms that have occurred. There's plenty of things that we may not be able to do anything about. But I want to remind you of what Deacon Brett shared with us two weeks ago in his homily, to be aware of that circle of interest or concern and measure that against really our circle of influence. See, the more we fixate on the things that are beyond our control, the smaller the things are that we can change because we're not relating to anybody. We're all thinking about things that are beyond us. That doesn't mean that we're not aware of them, but we have little to no control over them. Those are things about which we should pray and let God worry about those and take care of those things. Actually, God's not really worried, but we worry. And God is going to take care of those things as He sees the big picture and we don't. But to focus on the things that are in our circle of influence, or our sphere of influence, that's where I would encourage us as we then approach Thanksgiving to be mindful of being people of thanks, of not fixating on the dark stuff. Yeah, I can do it too. I can be sucked into the news cycle. Uh, I can be sucked into bad news. It is so, it's so tempting. But let's not do it. Let's make a decision not to do that. Let's make a decision to be people of Thanksgiving, especially now as we start to work into what I just called Thanksgiving Tide, days that are moving up into the time for Thanksgiving. Yes, this weekend we're going to be uh, celebrating Christ the King, and I hope you are, if you're not, that you listen to Erin's video that she posted, I think it was on Thursday or, or Wednesday. But know that we are people of Thanksgiving. And how is it that we as Catholics, and this is amazing, that to celebrate Thanksgiving, we have a special Mass on Thanksgiving Day. Not only that, the fact that Mass is what we do to show our Thanksgiving is profound because the very word Eucharist that we offer at Mass means in Greek Thanksgiving or thanks. St. Augustine once said, become what you receive. If we're receiving Thanksgiving, this is a great sacrament to kind of get a spiritual shot in the arm. By receiving he who is in, in Thanksgiving incarnate, Jesus. So I want you to know we have our Mass on Thanksgiving Day at 9 a.m. In that you'll be encouraged during the time for the preparation of the gifts to bring forward any perishable gifts that you may have of food and things and we'll pile them in before the altar there. And they will be removed after Mass by a, a kind of a cadre or a little army of folks from the, the food closet so that we can help others. God wants us to be a cheerful giver. And so please come and consider coming to Thanksgiving Mass, being starting the day of Thanksgiving by becoming Thanksgiving, by receiving the author, the incarnation of Thanksgiving, and then share yourself so that you can go into your homes with your families. And I don't know what your traditions are there, but for me, I'm used to turkey and stuffing and gravy and mashed potatoes, all that stuff. I hope that you will have a restful and peaceful Thanksgiving. Despite all the darkness that could be around you, 
and recognize that God wants you to put on that gratitude in your heart and let him worry about the things that only God can take care of. And I know it's so hard because we've been kind of programmed not to by our culture, which is a media-driven culture and bad news cycle culture. But the good news is more powerful than the bad news. Even if there's darkness, light itself penetrates that darkness. I like to think about this, and I mentioned this at my Wednesday homily, that when we are in a time or in a place of darkness, to praise God. We're not going to praise God for the darkness, but we're actually, imagine this, we're praising God as a way of inserting into the darkness with our words and our voice and our hearts, good news. I don't want to be a person of suspicion. I'm going to imagine you don't either. Because living in a life of suspicion and fear is no way to live a life. We're not fully alive by doing that. People, that, in fact, you notice people that live, that have hearts that are gr gr grateful, they have full lives. Their hearts are full. I want to be like that. That's a gift from God. And we can receive Him on Thanksgiving Day. So until then, or actually this weekend, I'll see you hopefully. I'll be preaching the homily on Christ the King weekend. But I want to wish you and your family a blessed, peaceful, and joyful Thanksgiving day.